Now coming to the fifth problem, which is root two times of x plus root two root three times of y is equal to zero. This let it be equation number one, and root three x minus root three root eight y is equal to zero. Let this be equation number two. So now the first equation can be written as root two x is equal to minus root three y. That implies x is equal to minus root three divided by root two times of y. Let us substitute the value of x, which is minus root three divided by root two times of y, in equation number. Two, we get root three times of in place of x we can substitute minus root three by root two times of y, and here we have minus under root y is equal to zero. So root three multiplied by minus root three gives minus three y by root two. And this is minus root eight y, which is equal to zero. Now we can take minus y as a common. We'll be getting three by root two plus root eight is equal to zero. Now we can say that y is equal to zero. This is because since this term is not equal to zero. Obviously, y must be equal to zero. Now substitute y is equal to zero in equation number one. We'll get root two times of x plus root three times of zero is equal to zero. That implies root two times x is zero. That is nothing but x is also equal to zero. So we got x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. Therefore, the solution for the given pair of linear equations are x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero.